It's time for the Coach's Corner with the Hall of Fame coach, Tony Grijalva. Uh, today I'm here with uh, Coach Ruben Rodriguez, the head football coach for the East Lake Falcons. Coach, thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Uh, let's first talk about your spring. How's your spring session going right now? It's been really good for us. I think we accomplished what we needed to accomplish, uh, what our goals were coming in at uh -huh. the end of last season to what we wanted to achieve in spring. Uh, had a lot of contact early. Uh, just winding yeah. down now tomorrow for our spring game. No, that sounds good. That sounds good. You know, last year, I'm sure you were disappointed in your year last year. You know, we all go through those, those types of years. What kind of motivation have you used to get start going for this year? Well, obviously, we didn't finish the way that, that our, our expectations were at the beginning of last mm -hmm. season. But I think we learned a lot. I okay. think uh, complacency was a big part of of yes. what our kids expected. Entitlement was something that also we dealt with. But uh, I think we took a business approach to it. Uh, every day was an opportunity for us to get better. And from the very beginning of our offseason, through the weight sessions, through the spring ball, I think the intent has been, you know, to get ourselves back to where we where it used to be. Great, great. Let's talk a little bit about your, uh, your schedule. Uh, let's start with your preseason schedule. Uh, give us a, a, an example of some of the teams you'll play for pre preseason. Well, we're going to open up at Bel Air uh, week okay. one. And, uh, you know, they, they went through some mishaps the last couple of weeks. So right. we, that, that's kind of what a positive. Still up in the air, yeah. We get to host probably one of the most prestigious programs in the state of Texas in Odessa Permian coming down here on the 6th of September. Uh, and then the one that's kind of a looming uh, question for everybody is our, our week three opponent will play Liberty Hill, who was a, yes. a state semifinal this last year. Yeah. Uh, the Masters of the Slot T. Yeah. So uh, if, if you don't know anything about them, you know, you're not sure where you're going. <laughs> but I think that 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 team itself will prepare us for what we're going to go. And then we'll close out the preseason with uh, we're going up there to Rio Rancho and playing Rio Rancho High again. Oh, interesting. That, that, that'll be interesting. So that, that should pretty much get you ready for district. Well, I, I mean, that, that's <laughs> tough. You know, I think that, that was the other thing that, our, that, that we wanted for ourselves was to, was to play teams of that caliber. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of quality opponents here in El Paso, but right. we felt like challenging ourselves at that, in that aspect was something that we needed to do for our program. Well, let, let's talk a little bit then about, about your district schedule. Yeah, you're in 16A. Uh, you lost a couple of members. Uh, America's in El Dorado uh, moved down, but uh, you still have pretty much the core of 16A. Talk about your your district schedule. Well, the, you know, losing those te those, those two those two programs is 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 kind of a blessing. You know, you, you talk about Cameron Johnson, you talk about <laughs> right. Ray Estrada. You know, not True. having to play those guys is, is, is going to be a blessing for us, but the parity in the district is still going to be very evident. Mm -hmm. um, I like our chances specifically for the fact that we're one of two teams in our district that returns our starting quarterback. That's so that true. obviously is an advantage for our programs in that position. But I expect the, the parity to be the same. I expect the, the intensity to be the same. And although we lose those two programs, I think it's just going to be as competitive as it's been in the past. Yeah. And you look at, uh, you know, your post district, you know, getting into the playoffs, obviously that, that is, that's one of your main goals, but, you know, looking ahead, like opponents in by district opponents in area, uh, you know, what do you see the competition being like there? Well, that two, six, a is always tough. Yes. You know, there, in, in, in terms of El Paso teams, we've been able to have some really good years, right. you know, in, in, in being able to go two and two in the by district round or, or, or having somebody win that, I think we're in a position when you look at that district, the competition is always going to be evident. They're always playing at a high level. They challenge themselves the same way that we're trying to challenge ourselves sure. with quality opponents or opponents that, that, that pose a you know, good competition to them. But, um, you know, it's always, it, it's always a tough place to, to, to be in, being able, you know, 
being able to play against them and then you know you if you're fortunate to win that round you got to go up against that right. metroplex region or or district that obviously is always in the state you know semis and, sure. or playing for state titles so you know it's just something we embrace you know to ha be blessed to be in that opportunity if we're in that opportunity at the end of the year and you know we grow our program every year and that's what our goal is and and obviously uh the way the format is for for the playoffs you know uh in district 16a if you're the district champion, you get a little bit of an advantage because yes. you do get a home a home game. Uh, how do you see that working out? Well, obviously, you know, the, one of our goals is to win the district championship. Yes, sir. And if you don't win the district championship, put yourself in a position to be able to host a home game because mm -hmm. it is a true advantage, you know, in essence to being able to stay here at your own place with your people right. and, and provide that home field advantage. But, you know, once you get to those rounds, uh, the Texas High School playoffs, I mean, You'll be fortunate to be there, right. and the excitement and you know hopes that, that your team comes out to perform and hopefully get get a win. Coach, thank you for your time. We look forward to watching you this season, and good luck to you. All right, thank you, thank you guys, thank you so much for what you do. Thank you for watching. Visit us at epsportsnetwork.com for your source of sports and entertainment.